Hi booktube, Lynette here and I am going to film for you today a video that I haven't done for quite some time on my channel and that is an unboxing video. This is the Book Box Club box and this is the one that came for May. It's actually arrived this morning so all I've done is slit the uh, bottom of the box open so I can open it up. I have no idea what's in here. Um, so I thought I would share it all with you as I find out what I've received. Bookbox Club is a UK based subscription box and they put in young adult books uh, every month. They uh, then build a theme around that book and you get roughly five themed goodies to go with the book. Uh, they also do a subscription that if you don't want all the goodies you can actually just get the book so you can actually and you can actually uh switch to that one if you would prefer obviously getting the full book box is more expensive than getting the book but if you're in the uk and you're looking for a good book subscription service then i would give book box club a try because i've had them in the past and i do highly recommend them so without further ado let's find out what's in the box so the first thing that's on the top I'm going to cover the back so I don't see the book, is the spoiler card uh, that gives you the theme. So for May 2020, it's Dangers and Dragons. And on the back, uh, you can actually see all of the items that you've got and who made them and where they're from. Uh, you then get an envelope which has your name on it. And these actually has the invite in it. And as you can see, it says open me last because it actually tells you the author and the book as well. So you don't want to open that until you've opened the rest of it. And then you get the book, which this month feels like a hardback book. So uh, it's not too chunky. So I think that'd be quite good. Looks lovely, wrapped very nicely um, with the nice silver uh, string as well um, but again I'm going to open that one after I've seen what else is in the box so as I, sorry if I'm turning to the side it's because I've got the box propped here um, so yes so I'll just have a route around and see what I can find for you <clears throat> this is all the uh, packaging that comes inside the box as well so uh, but yes the first thing that I've taken out is these uh, gorgeous dragon socks uh, dragon themed socks with the uh, Sorry, it's got all the packaging still on it. So the feet on the bottom, the teeth on the bottom and the dragon's snout on the top. Uh, these are actually quite cool and funky. I really love these. I can't wait to wear them actually. Uh, shame it's not actual sock weather at the moment um, in the UK. We're actually having some wonderful weather at the moment. So I'm getting away with not having socks, but I may even just try and wear them as slippers uh, because I need something light on my feet in the evenings. So yes, really liking those. Thank you very much. And then the next thing out of the box is this enamel. I don't know if you can quite see it there with the glare of the ring light, but um, it's this little enamel necklace with this uh, black um, black dragon on it. Um, I'm not quite sure who this was made by. Uh, I don't want to look at the spoiler card because I know that I'll see the the um, see the book. So in editing, I will put um, who all these items have been made by. So yes, yeah, so that's a lovely, lovely necklace there, uh, which I'll might find somewhere to display rather than to wear. So look forward to that one. Ah, so the next thing out of the box is a pack of playing cards, um, and I've been wanting a pack of playing cards for a while now. So because uh, I don't think my mum's got one here. So that will be really great. I can start playing some card games, some proper card games. I actually do like playing card games. Um, I'm not, um, I like solitaire, and but I don't really like doing things like that on the computer. Um, it's too, I don't know, it, it's, it's too electronic. Does that sound odd? Um, so I do, I do like having a pack of cards and just playing a really good game of cards uh, with a proper deck if I can get these out and then we can have a look at them so they are looks like they've got an Alice in Wonderland theme so they've got the rabbit on the back they've all got the rabbit on the back um, and then they're quite simple stylish looking playing cards uh, obviously with all the usual characters 
so yes so i will uh, look forward to playing with those in a uh, in future um i'm really pleased with those so the next thing that's come out of this box is this little pink bath bomb um made in the style of a dragon's egg uh can't really place the smell it's very powdery but it's not baby powder um but there also seems to be kind of a citrus undertone to that uh i've been craving a bath with a nice little bath bomb recently and uh, my favorite place to get bath bombs in the uk is actually closed at the moment because of coronavirus um so yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to actually having a soak um in the bath with my book having a nice little dragon's egg bath bomb and then the next thing out of the box is this gorgeous gold foil dragon print. Uh, it's not very big. Um, it's not even as big as the book. Uh, it's as wide as the book, but it's not as tall. Uh, but yes, that is stunning. I, I love the simplicity of that. Um, and I've got a ring light attached to my phone, so you can just see how that light is playing over it. So that will be lovely to... Uh, stick up on the side of the bookshelves here where I can see them uh, so I'm really looking forward to displaying that one and can see that one every single day so yes so I really love that really like that one thank you very much book box that's lovely and then in the bottom of the box this is just a little additional goodie that you get and it's just a little sampler of a new book that's coming out at the end of May uh, so by the time you see this it will already be out it's being released on the 28th of May and it's called All Your Twisted Secrets by Diana Urban. Uh, it's another, it sounds like it's another one. I don't know whether um, any of you watching have heard of One of Us is Lying. Uh, I actually had that one from Book Box Club a couple of years ago. And I did read that one and enjoy it. Um, this one is about a group of students who have been locked in a room with a bomb and a vial of poison. And they have to elect one person to die so that the others can be released or the bomb will go off and they will all die. They have an hour in which to make this decision. But during that hour, hour they decide to try and find a way to save them, all of them. Uh, but what becomes clear over that hour is they all have secrets and they are um, those secrets could all be the reason why they have been chosen to be locked in this room. Sounds quite intriguing, so I might keep an eye out for that one uh, and, and have a look and see if that's something, um, once all the reviews start coming out, if that's something that I would enjoy. Because I did enjoy One of Us is Lying, so I may enjoy this as well. It is being likened to The Breakfast Club, only with uh, dark and twisted... Uh, turn on that so and I've never seen The Breakfast Club um, being a child of the late 70s you'd think that I would have seen it but uh, it's a film that I've never seen so so yes uh, it does sound quite interesting I like all these kind of suspenseful twisted books um, that are out there so that sounds quite up my alley and then the final item in the box is a candle and this one is Hungarian horntail themed so can't go wrong with a Harry Potter candle in my book. Uh, this is a candle that is exclusive to Book Box Club that has been made solely for them. Um, it's Dragon's Fire and Spice is the scent. Oh, it's got some little flowery potpourri bits in the top, so I'll try not to tip it up too much. But it's this lovely dark greyish, greyish blue colour. And it smells, it smells really floral, but there is a spice behind it as well, which. Oh, yes, I think I'm going to really like burning that one. Um, and it will be a shame when that one's done. So I think I will really enjoy that one. So that's all the items in the box. Let's now unwrap the book. Oh. I'm not very good at unwrapping things. I just tear the paper. I'm not one of these that saves the paper. So, so let's take this out and let you see it first. Ah, so the book is Burn by Patrick Ness. Uh, this is actually a book, I don't know whether it's out now, 
Um, I think it'll be out by the time this video goes up, but I think it's about to uh, go live in, during the month of June, I think. Um, I have seen it on other people's channels on um, BookTube because there's been a couple of people whose channels I watch. They have actually had uh, e um, art copies of this. Uh, so it does sound intriguing. I believe um, uh, it'll be YA, uh, young adult book. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about because I've only been half watching the videos lately because I've been I've had a lot that I've had to catch up on. So they've just been playing in the background. Um, all the back cover says is how does the world end? It ends in fire. So that sounds very intriguing. It is actually, I don't know if you can see that. It is actually a signed copy of the book. Uh, I know Patrick Neff has written quite a few books and he is actually very well loved um as a ya author there are some books of his that i've heard of that i would really love to to read because i think they sound quite quite interesting to me um so yes yeah, so i'll just i'll just read to you what's on the inside flap um because this will be the first i really know about it as well so it says on a cold sunday evening in early 1957 sarah dewhurst waited with her father in the parking lot of the chevron gas station for the dragon he'd hired to help on the farm. This dragon, Casimir, has more to him than meets the eye. Sarah can't help but be curious about him, an animal who supposedly doesn't have a soul but is seemingly intent on keeping her safe from the brutal attentions of Deputy Sheriff Emmett Kelby. Casimir knows something she doesn't. He has arrived at the farm because of a prophecy, a prophecy that involves a deadly assassin, a cult of dragon worshippers, two FBI agents, and somehow, Sarah Dewhurst herself. Oh, so, and it says, From the best-selling author of the Chaos Walking trilogy comes a heart-stopping story of fanaticism, hope and impossible second chances set in a world on the brink of its own destruction. That actually sounds, apart from the dragon part of it, um, it actually sounds quite apt for the time that we live in uh, now, in the, in the 20, 2020s. Um, so, yes... So that's the book, Burn by Patrick Ness. Uh, so I'll just go over everything that I've had in the box and I can actually show, tell you who they were made by. <clears throat> so the book is Burn by Patrick Ness. The Hungarian Horntail Candle, which is by Midnight Flame Company. The Smaug Foil Print. And the artwork on this has been done by Tim Ingle Art. Uh, so Smaug, so this I'm actually even doubly pleased now because I love The Hobbit. It's one of my favourite all-time books. So to know that this is Smaug from The Hobbit, uh, this is definitely going on display where I can see it. So yes, uh, thank you for that gorgeous artwork, uh, Tim Ingle Art. A Dragon Egg Bath Bomb, and this has been made by Druid and the Witch. Um, doesn't say what it smells like. But yes, yeah, so there's definitely something powdery and, and citrusy about this. So I'm looking forward to this one. Definitely. The Draconis uh, enamel necklace. And this has been made exclusively for Book Books Club. Uh, they don't actually say who made it. Um, but they have designed it exclusively and had it made for them. And then the Dragon Socks are by Joe Call. Uh, the... Uh, pack of playing cards and the actual book sampler were just a little additional extras that they put in the box uh, just to give you a bit of a treat um so yes so that's everything that was in my book box club box for may uh let me know do you get any subscription boxes are you in the uk do you know of any adult themed subscription boxes that i might be interested in um if not or if you've just got any questions at all um have a look down below uh, put them in the comments below i will put a link to their website in the comments down below so that you can have a look and see if there's something you'd like yourself um, as well as their book subscriptions they actually put any extras that they have left over from their book boxes into their shop um, you can just see here i've got a mug here that i've just recently had from them um, with some other bits and pieces that i ordered because if you don't want all the goodies one month, then there might be a couple of items that you were interested in that they are have for sale otherwise. So I hope you're all doing well. Uh, not sure when this video is going up. It's going to be mid-June-ish. So 
it's the end of May, mid late May now. So um, I'm actually back to work now. Uh, my employer has started uh, to reopen their business at the time that I'm filming this. So not sure what else you're doing where, wherever you are in the in the world. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all okay. And I will speak to you all again soon. Bye.